What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Jeremy J. Fit, coming at you again with another video. I'm actually very excited today because I'm going to be doing a White Castle challenge. Yes, I'm going to be doing a White Castle challenge. And I'm actually very excited because I haven't had White Castle in so long. So this is actually going to be very good and I cannot wait to eat it because I'm very hungry right now. But we about to go get this food. We got our food. Now it's time to go home and get everything presentable and get ready to eat. We am back. We are here. Got everything set up. Actually very excited and I'm very hungry. Um, I've been waiting so long to do this challenge. It's been a minute since I had White Castle and I'm actually very excited. Um, I've seen a lot of YouTubers and competitive eaters do this challenge. Um, people like Randy Santel and Matt Stoney and Eric D. Electric and Nathan Figueroa. And for those of you who don't know who they are, like I said, they're competitive eaters and they're also YouTubers. If you want to find out more about them and their channel, the link to their channels will be in the description box below. So be sure to check them out and their videos. But I'm actually very excited and just very hungry. So we're going to see how fast we're going to do to get all this down maybe these 30 we got 30 burgers we got mozzarella sticks here we got mozzarella stick and we got onion rings we got onion rings and we also have chicken rings yes chicken rings this is actually this is like over like $45 worth of food right here. So we're going to see how fast we're going to consume this. And hopefully I'll do good, but we will see. All right. We got the timer here. I don't know if you can see the time, but when it's all done, I'm going to do a close up on the timer. But we'll see how fast we're going to get all this down. So everybody, let's get ready. Challenge is going to start in three, two, uh oh, wait one second, then drop the timer. Can, can never be great. They can never be great. Let's start in three, two, one. Right, time to eat. Do better. This is real good. So I really need it. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Like, you don't understand. But, like, so much, like, training I've been doing. And, like, every, all the other challenges. Like, everything I've been doing. Like, look. It's, like, this is really hitting. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, those of you in the Jersey area, you already know. Especially up North Jersey and in New York. You already know how good White Castle is. Even if y'all down by the beach in South Jersey, like by the beach, trust me, 
white this white castle was really whew. And for everybody who lived down south, you know, pretty much y'all white cat our white castle is just like y'all crystals up at up down there is our white castle. If crystals are still around, I don't know. But put in a comment if crystals are still around or not. Yeah, dude, I need more room. So I had to, I got, I got to see my timer. I'm sorry. I already about a little bit over 10 minutes and 15 seconds in and I already got 15 burgers down. I got 15 more to go. And so I got 15 burgers down in about 10 minutes. So that's not bad. I mean, before when I first did this, because I was actually going to do this before, um, like maybe a couple years ago, I wanted to test it out, see if I could, how fast I could eat 15. And last time I ate 15 burgers, it was like about maybe... In about eight minutes or so I mean I slowed down because you know it's been a minute since I've done this but still not too bad but I just shut up and just keep eating all this food Start getting to these onion rings here. To these onion rings. Onion rings are fire. Let's try the zesty zing sauce. This chicken ring right here. See how this tastes right here in this. Woo! So, oh. ain't a lot about the zesty part. That zest is good. That's these things, so I see how it tastes with the onion rings. not bad <laughs> for the most part it's not even that bad got about 14 burgers left still we still got to get into the mozzarella sticks but I'm gonna save these for last though even though it is best if you man, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat one now I'm gonna I just eat one I just gotta eat one I mean no harm in that. I just, I just gotta eat one. This is for everybody. This is for all y'all. I mean, we'll like it to have that too, pool, but whatever. It's still good. It's still good. All the cheese day, this cheese day was actually well worth it. I was actually anticipating this day, like for real. I was anticipating this day for a good 
minute. I don't want to know why I ain't got no music playing in the background. Now I know this. Now I know for next time I'm going to have music playing <laughs> while I do this. It's 20 minutes in. Got 10 more burgers left. Got 10, got 10 more burgers left. Uh, yeah, if I was just eating the burgers, I probably wouldn't have beaten the time limit. But, so I'm a train. That's why I just train harder. So that way, next time I do do this challenge, I'm going to come back and I'm going to destroy it. Trust to believe that. Because I ain't no quitter. Because I still got all this to know. So we're going to see what happens. Oh, man. This really, really takes a toll on you. The more you eat these things. Because this is definitely a killer on me. And I mean, like, it's not even funny. It's really, really not even funny of how I feel right now. And I know I'm only a beginner in this, but if it was two years ago, I would have been able to get all this down packed. But you see what happened when you stop what you what you used to do it slows you down. That's like trying to get back into working out. Once you stop working, you could be working out for six years, but all it takes is that one day for you not to go to the gym. After that, that one day will feel like two weeks. Once you stop, it's hard to get back.
but yeah. Oh no, I got five more burgers left. I think if I should just save these and get all this. I don't know, but Whew. but I want to be able to save enough room for dessert. So you know what, we're gonna stop this here. Sorry for all those if I disappointed y'all. So 48 minutes and 5 seconds to get down 25 burgers and some chicken rings and onion rings and mozzarella sticks. But, um, yeah, I mean, it took 48 minutes and 5 seconds, so not the type of ending I wasn't going to go for, but I want to be able to save enough room for dessert. But for right now, after eating this amount of food, um, I'm going to try lay down, take a rest, and maybe go for a walk so I can walk all this off so I can make some extra room for dessert. So, see y'all. What's up, everybody? It is currently 10.03. Had to take about six hours for, no, actually about five hours for food to digest just so I could get a late dessert and what other place to go to then insomnia cookies and right now it's pretty busy but i made it here thank god for online but we're here just gonna wait for the food and we'll see you all right everybody we're back for dessert this time it's actually so delicious we went to insomnia cookies as you saw and can't wait to get into this deliciousness here as you can see let's see if we can focus on it let's see what we got here you see we got here you got the spicy hot cocoa here oh oh i don't want it to fall you got the candy cane and there's one right here with the sprinkles on top you got with the red sprinkles on top you got the hot cinnamon whiskey this is their Christmas cookies that they have out and decided you know I'm gonna do a little food review and enjoy this and you know also it's not Christmas without eggnog it's one of my favorite drinks um, drinks around this time. I know there's some people who don't like eggnog, but hey, look, eggnog is good. I never, I didn't like it at first when I first heard of it, but I had to get into it. I had, I had to get it. The first time I had it, I was introduced to it. Trust me, I did not go back. Like, I really loved it. I loved every moment of it. But, Stop talking, let's get into these cookies here. Okay, so we're gonna start with the, I believe this is the candy cane. Get into this. Let's see the inside of here. Like, good thing about insomnia sometimes is that you can wait 30 minutes. Like you can order your food maybe 30 minutes ago or sometimes an hour ago. Their cookies will still be so warm to the point where they're still falling apart. See how this is. It's not bad. You could actually taste, you know, it's a sugar cookie. And you could actually taste, you know, the peppermint. You could taste the candy cane. It give you that candy cane vibe. Actually, really good. Not bad. Man, I get that 10 out of 10. I actually, I will get this cookie 10 out of 10. And no lie, no cap, I will actually, no cap, I will actually give this a 10 out of 10. No lie, because it's actually real, very good. 
Let me see what we're gonna get into next. This right here, matter of fact, this right here, this is the hot cinnamon whiskey. It is made with whiskey, but trust me, it's, it's like less alcohol in this. You know, when you cook with alcohol, it'll all, you pretty much just cook it all out. So don't worry, I'm gonna get drunk off of this. <laughs> Shit. Hmm. Not bad. You could definitely tell there's some cinnamon in there. I guess a lot of cinnamon in here. And that after effect, you get that little whiskey taste. I mean, I never drunk whiskey before, but you can actually tell. You could, you really will taste the cinnamon and the whiskey like mixed a little bit in this too. But this is actually not bad. This is actually good with all the cinnamon toppings on this too. Not like a good eggnog Southern Comfort. I like Southern Comfort eggnog and this I like hood, but it's gonna be another eggnog when I do a um, holiday feature on here. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a holiday um, food review, matter of fact, a holiday challenge later on. I know those of y'all who, when you when y'all watch this video, you're gonna see me fail miserably at the White Castle Challenge. I mean, it was something I had to try <laughs> my first time, but you know, knowing me, I don't like failing challenges. And I don't like, you know, I don't like losing. But you know, sometimes you have to go through that in order to um, get to that next step. Now this one here, this is the spicy hot cocoa. See this big marshmallow here? Like, look, 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 zoom it on this. The big marshmallow right here. You will get, you, you get that hot cocoa vibe. You really do get that hot cocoa vibe. Let me see what we got here when we pull this apart. Look, look at this. Look at this. And <laughs> look at this. I love this. I love it. Mm. Get that hot cocoa vibe in this, but spicy. You don't really get it in this at much. No, not spicy hot cocoa. I mean, regular, it's like just regular hot cocoa. I mean, nothing spicy about it. You know, this is just regular hot cocoa. To me with just a marshmallow on it but wait a minute now the more i you know what now after after the last few bites i just took out of this now you that spicy hits after like the spiciness comes in like when you first bite into this you don't really feel it you just feel the regular hot cocoa but once you once you um get that aftertaste that's when the spiciness kicks in so imagine now i'm actually feeling it it's not bad I should have all three cookies. No lie. The three cookies are actually real bomb. They're bomb right now.
little bit sweet, but ain't nothing too sweet. I got a sweet tooth right now, and it's late, so I had to get a late sna late night dessert snack, so I deserved it. Plus, I still was work. <laughs> I was sleeping off, resting off, and had to walk off that um that little white that white castle I had earlier. So, I mean, listen, twenty five burgers, twenty five burgers I had. That I never thought I didn't think I was gonna get to twenty five. Let alone some of the um chicken rings and onion rings and mozzarella sticks I had. Maybe if I didn't get all that and just stuck with the burgers, I probably would have got done all thirty burgers, but. No me, I have to go for the gusto and go more than expected. That's that's me all the time. I always do that. So that's one thing you're gonna you're gonna learn about me. I always go more every single time. But let's get the rest of this down. It's bad. Don't work. Y'all gonna I'm gonna pay for it on Monday when I get when I um when I be training. I'm gonna pay for it. And my diet that I'm gonna be doing is gonna really is gonna kill me. But Y'all gonna see it though totally different. Like you're gonna see me still eat like this, but then you're also gonna still see me lose weight, trust me. <laughs> like, matter of fact, I'm gonna do another challenge, a Christmas challenge. Um I'm gonna do a holiday challenge. I'ma see how much I'ma see how much weight I could drop before Christmas. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna show y'all my my pre weight before the challenge and afterwards. I will see how much um I actually can uh lose by Christmas, how many pounds I can lose. That shit's gonna be pretty pretty fun man. But drop a um comment. Go into the comments and give me some more suggestions on what other challenges I should do. That would be greatly appreciated. Right, the dessert is done. All three cookies was good. The candy cane, I give that a 10 out of 10. The hot spicy cocoa, definitely a 10 out of 10. And the hot cinnamon whiskey. Yeah. All three cookies are 10 out of 10s for me. All three pair, I actually really do enjoy Insomnia cookies. And I know they're all over, so if you haven't, Please go to Sonic Cookies and try out some of their awesome cookies. Trust me, you'll not be disappointed. Um, I'm going to post a link to their website in the description below. Thank you all for tuning in to this video. Um, I really do appreciate it. Do me a favor. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. If... Um, you enjoy if you enjoyed this video and also drop a few comments on what you think or what I should do next. Like give me some more suggestions or what I should do next for my next video or um a few more challenges that will be coming in the near future. And also don't forget give like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe and just thank you all. I really do appreciate the love and support. And always remember, do great, be great, feel great. All right? Thank you all for tuning in. Love y'all.